Right then, welcome back to another vid, another Call of Duty video, and this one is on a map called Vertigo, based in India, as you can see. And this is from the latest map pack, which was called Uprising. I think it came out, what, about two weeks ago now? And you get your usual four maps, plus one of the zombie maps, but I never go on the zombies. I just, I find it a little bit boring, really. But with that said, I've never really taken it seriously. I've not had a proper game on it since it very first came out, and that would have been on the, was it the World at War game? I think. I think it was then, uh, which is what, about 2008? Give or take. So, yeah, never say never with the zombies in the future, but uh, it's not really something which grabs me, to be honest. So, anyway, this is just, like I say, from the map called Vertigo. And I wasn't going to do this vid, if I'm honest, because, um, I mean, I only make these Call of Duty videos for views. And um, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't make them for views. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, no, my last Call of Duty video, um, if you watched it, you watched it, if you didn't, you didn't. It, it kind of descended the comment section, descended into chaos with one um, particular YouTuber who I'd known for about three years. Uh, former subscriber now, he, he decided um, that he didn't want to be subscribed anymore. Fair enough, you win some, you lose some. Did seem a little bit of an overreaction, but not my problem, and I certainly won't be losing any sleep over it. But I guess if you kind of look at it a little bit, um, I don't know... Uh, I don't know, he just seemed a little bit childish to me, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, in the heat of the moment, because I'm pretty sure he doesn't, you know, really believe it, but in, I'm going to presume it was the heat of the moment, he said, I only make these Call of Duty vids to get views and subs or, or something, um, which is ludicrous, and I'm pretty certain he didn't really mean it. Um, and of course, that's not the reason why I do it. I do it because I like playing Call of Duty. I know it's a game that everybody likes to knock, and I knock it more than anyone else as well. But um, I just like to play it. I think it helps I'm quite good at it as well. If I was really bad, I certainly wouldn't play it. But I've got to be honest, I don't play it as much as I used to. So, um, you know, I will still make the occasional COD file vid. But I think in terms of making it a really regular feature, then maybe not. Um, because, you know, it's not for everyone. But, like I say, I, I know these videos get less views, you know, than all my other stuff. I know that. Uh, I'm not an idiot, but I, I do these vids because I like playing the game and I quite like making the vids. And that's what we should all do on our channels. And again, it comes down to that thing of if you don't like it, don't watch it. You know, pick up videos. I mean, that's how it kind of started, really, in that, um, you know, I was responding to someone else's comments that they didn't like pick up vids and people who go for full collections are idiots or whatever the phrase was, I can't remember. And everyone's entitled to their, their views. Nice little triple kill there. But it does make me laugh, really, because, like I said, obviously everybody's entitled to their views, and it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's um, you know something which is going to be controversial or not. You've got your views, your opinions, and that's, uh, that's all that matters, and, and you're entitled to them views. But, you see, this is a community, and when you go into any community of anything, obviously this just so happens to be gaming, and if you voice opposition, and views which are um, different to the norm, then it's only really going to be given a negative reaction. You know, because we're all here, 99% of us are here, just to have a laugh and to talk to like-minded people and to share games we've bought with, you know, through pickup vids or uh, gameplays and show our, uh, give our opinions on it and just have a, a light-hearted kind of laugh and banter and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, to come on and, and be negative is just kind of a little bit silly. I mean, it, you know, it's kind of... In a way, you know, being critical of things people do in the gaming community is kind of a little bit akin to, I don't know, going to a church on a Sunday morning and just standing up halfway through the service and kind of looking at everyone and going, this is rubbish, isn't it? What, what, what are we doing here? And if you did that in a church, and I'm not religious, <laughs> but I wouldn't do this anyway, obviously, but if, if I did that, if you did that in the middle of a service, people would turn around and they'd be like, well, because this is what we do here. If you don't like it, what are you doing? And so the same kind of applies, I think, in the gaming community on YouTube. Yes, you're entitled to your opinion. You may disagree. You may not like what you watch. But don't complain about it because this is what happens. If you don't like it, then just go away. You know, do something else. Watch some other videos. Or I guess the best thing you can do in regards to YouTube is unsubscribe. That's the only thing you can do. But publicly making videos where you're very critical of others uh, whilst you're entitled to do that, it's it's kind of it's not going to win you any friends, I don't think. It's just going to get you a reputation for always complaining and and being a little bit silly. And that's why I said in the previous vid, it was just a bit of a throwaway line. 
But that's why, why I said, you know, maybe if people ever get to a stage where publicly they're criticising people and they're buying habits, you know, other people's habits, um, maybe that's a time for, for someone to take a bit of a break because maybe what that is showing that person is they've lost a bit of passion for games. But maybe not. I'm not telling anyone what to do. I'm just kind of throwing it out there. Maybe that's what they need. Because I don't see the point of coming onto YouTube and being negative. We're all here just for a laugh. But like I say, you, we've all got opinions. But I just think sometimes, particularly when it's, it's going to stir up a bit of a hornet's nest, I don't see the point of, of talking about it on video. It's just, it's just too negative. And ultimately, we're all here just for a, for a bit of fun and all the rest of it. But anyway, let's talk uh, about the, uh, the game, I guess. <laughs> I've hardly touched upon it. But yeah, what I've started to do, as you can see, there's quite a few deaths in this game as well, but obviously there's more kills. And I've just, uh, I thought that was the best thing to do. You know, in the, rather than in previous vids, I was kind of going, you know, like, I don't know, 35, no, well, not even that, like 23 and 5. And, and these days I'll have, all right, more deaths in the game, but there's a lot more kills as well. And I'm covering more of the map, and I just thought it's kind of more entertaining. Now, it's funny, I was just replying to a comment about an hour or two ago on the previous Black Ops vid, the one that kind of descended into chaos in the comment section, like I said. I was replying to a comment by Craig Minx 36 and by the way, that always happens, always happens. There's always someone bloody behind, always. If it's not that, it's that Predator missile or the equivalent will always get me on a Call of Duty game, always. But yeah, Craig was saying, you know, what is your, um, what class do you use? In what, what gun setup do you use in the game? And I replied back and I said, I haven't got a clue. And I haven't got a clue, I really don't know. Team kill there, that was a bit silly. But um, yeah, what I can tell you is it's, uh, I use a silencer. I always have the silencer on, so you can sneak around like a bit of a ninja. Um, and I like that, because obviously when you shoot your, uh, your gun, unless you have the silencer on, then you will show up as a red dot on the screen and the enemy can see where you are. So I like to be hidden where possible. Um, so I've got that on. I always use, uh, or usually use, a shock charge, which I've touched upon, I think, maybe the first Black Ops vid that I did, or Black Ops 2 vid. I knew someone's come around the corner here, so it's not camping, just waiting, strategically. And I can pick up his tags, because obviously it's kill confirmed, so you've got to pick up the, the tags to, um, to increase your score to, to win the game. So, um, yeah, I've got the blue camo, and I think you unlock that once you've got a certain amount of headshots, I think. But in terms of what the gun is, I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. I don't really care what the gun is. Generally speaking, I just put a silencer on and run around like a, like a bit of a lunatic. So, yeah, this is, like I said, the new map pack. Um, I did pay $50 for this. It's a nice little strange triple kill come up there. I did pay $50 for the, the privilege, if you like, of, of these map packs. But they're all the same. <laughs> really, It's kind of a bit of a waste of money, in a sense. And if I was to remake that decision again today, I'm not sure I would pay... 40 50 dollars whatever it was but anyway that's enough for that um i did pretty well at the end and the next time i do a black ops vid i'm not going to talk about this whole pickup thing because i like watching pickup vids i'm sure you do as well and if you do you're gonna like myself continue to make and watch them and if you don't then just don't watch it no problem see you later